Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2022 on Windows 11. Let's begin. So we are going to cover following things in this tutorial. First, we will download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2022. After that, we will download and install Management Studio to connect the SQL Server. Then we will see how to run some queries on the database. Let's start. First, open your favorite browser and just type download MySQL for Windows and then you will see some results like this. You have to click on the first one which is from the Microsoft. Now we are on the page of the Microsoft SQL Server. On this you will see lots of things. Just scroll down and there we have download specialized version option on the left hand side we have a developer op option to download and this sql server is full featured free edition license for the use for the development and the test database for the non-production environment and on the right hand side we have the express version which is the sql server 2022 which is free edition of the sql server and this is ideal for the development and the production for the desktop web and a small server application click on the download now soon you will see the downloading and your file is downloaded and simply click on this after that you will see this kind of uh, pop-up box do you want to allow this app to make the changes on your device click on the yes and then you will see the installation window sql server 2022 express edition select the installation type so here we will go with the basics which is recommended and we have almost all features for our development we have the option custom so we can choose lots of things and the list will be provided and you can select so we are going with it and here you will see terms and conditions so if you want to go through it please check and then you can accept this finally you will see the installation location which is default set in the program files if you want to change you have a browse button and simply click the browse button select the new location and then click ok finally click the install button soon you will see the message downloading install packages because the setup was at the very uh, minimum size and this is downloading some important packages connecting through the internet to the server Microsoft server and the fetching the files and then this will install those files on your system so we have to wait for a few minutes for this process once the progress bar reaches the 100% mark you will see the message installing and this also takes few more minutes for the complete installation so we have to wait for that once the installation is done you will see this window sql server 2022 express edition installation completed successfully and here we have the connection string for your use if you are going to uh, connect through the programming so you can save this connection string somewhere in the notepad for your further use in your application so this will help you and after that we have the sql administrator this is for uh, the sql administrator which monitors the sql management studio and the sql server health so you will get the logs file and this is the path for the log folder so this is also an important path and you can simply click and you will be reach here you can save this path for sql administrator after that we have the option feature installed so this is the sql engine the sql server which is installed at particular location and this is showing us the version 16.0 okay and the installation resource folder path is there after that you have to click on this connect now to check that connection is successful or not you will see the sql cmd window at here you will see such information that means your SQL server is up and running and this is on the perfect state 
So the name of the SQL Server is SQL Server 2022 and the version is 16.0.1. And here we are on the SQL command prompt. We can proceed. We can start connecting uh, the database. We can uh, use the commands to connect the database from this place. But we are not going to use the CMD. So I have just closed that one. After that, we have one more button customize. So you will get these options Microsoft update. If you want to update the setup, then you can choose this one. So we have the product updates, installation setup files, install rules, installation type, license terms and agreements. So you can uh, click next if you want to go through it. These. And after that, we have one important one install SQL Server Management Studio, which is very important to install. Without this, we cannot connect to the server and we cannot see the databases. So simply click on that button and this will redirect you on the Chrome browser on this page. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and here we will see the download link. Here's the download link, which is the version 19.1. Click on it and you will see downloading on the left hand side. The size is little big uh, as compared to my internet connection because the speed is limited and 6 to 9 MB in size. So this will take 10 to 15 minutes. So meanwhile, I'm going to pause this video and I will start the video once this is done. Okay, the file is completely downloaded. Now we will install Management Studio. After that, we will connect to the SQL Server. Click on the downloaded exe of the Management Studio and then you will see the very first screen like this. SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. And this is the location of the installation. This is the default one. If you want to change it due to some reason, you can simply click on the change button and then you will have this browse folder option. So select that location and then you can go with the install. If you want to read the privacy and the license terms and agreements, so here the link is present. So simply click on this link, link and you can read those documents and then click on the install. Then again, you will see a pop up window from the Microsoft and click accept. And then you will see the installation in progress. The first progress bar is uh, for the components that are uh, being installed on your system. And the second progress bar is showing the overall progress. So this also takes few minutes. So please wait for the completion of this. After that, you will get this message setup completed. And then close this window. Okay, now we are back here on this uh, window and we are done and we have done the complete setup. You can exit from this window. Now go to the uh, this window icon, click here and you will see the SQL Management Studio shortcut here. If you do not find this, you have to type on the search. You will get the results, then select it. Once the management studio is launched, you will see connect to server window and here we have to select this way. So we are going to connect our SQL server with the window windows authentication and simply click on the connect. Then you will see we are connected to our MS SQL server on the left hand side. You can see the connection name and uh, when you expand this tree, you will see the system databases and uh, if you expand the tables you have that system tables if you want to create the database you can simply do the right click you can execute the database uh, creation query or you can use the UI interface to create the database and now I want to run some query on the master database so just select the database, do the right click, select new query and you will have this new query window. Here you can simply type the select query, select star from. 
the table name so I'm looking for the system tables so I will expand this and I will see what kind of table we have so I will select one of the table so let's check what's inside the first table MS replication options the first table this one dbo dot ms replication okay so you will get the uh, suggestions like this select this and click here on the execute and then you will have the results also you can do the right click on this table and you're going to export the all data into the csv so you have the option to create the tables you can manage the uh, database from this place so now this is all in your hands the way you can install ms sql and sql server management studio and we can connect the ms sql also we can run some queries this way i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool it help